Thank you very much, uh, Hi, Kirby. Thanks a lot for doing this. Yeah. Uh, my, my question is about the direct budgetary assistance the U.S. has supplied to Ukraine. The uh, the Pentagon, I think, talked about this uh, earlier today. There, there's no date certain on the calendar. The, I think what we're looking at is what's probably going to be many months before they're actually there. Go, Pat. These tanks are meant to help Ukraine fight effectively uh, on open terrain to defend their sovereignty in their territory and to win back territory that the Russians have taken from them. Because right now, I mean, it's winter time, so the conditions are not great. There's some fighting in the Donbass, but uh, but other than that, there's not been a whole heck of a lot, at least a, a, a around in the down in the south. But as the weather conditions improve, you can expect that the Russians are going to pick up the tempo. We have to be we have to be ready for that, and I know the Ukrainians feel they have to be ready for that. So it's about helping Ukraine defend itself, but also, as you heard the president say, helping Ukraine be able to go on the offense. Uh, when the weather conditions and when the when the, when the operational conditions uh, are permissive, um, and so we got to make sure that Ukraine can succeed on the battlefield, so that they can succeed at the negotiating table. And it's difficult to be able to predict how long this is going to go on, but we have to be prepared. And this is the, I think, to get to your question, well, well I can't can't tell the American people exactly how long it's going to take. We have to be prepared to stay at this task of supporting Ukraine, as the president said, for as long as it takes, with the expectation clearly that we want it to end quickly. We want it to end now. All I can tell you is we've seen absolutely no indication that Mr. Putin has designs on striking NATO territory. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it.